Hi everyone, my name is Megan and this is my first foray into vlogging, so please be patient with me. I wanted to do a vlog series about OCD and my treatment. I am entering intensive outpatient treatment for the second time. Actually, I just started this week for obsessive compulsive disorder, which is basically a little glitch in the brain where you have intrusive thoughts, basically that like, if you don't do certain things, something awful is going to happen. And then, so you have to go and repeat these certain things over and over and over, but it really doesn't calm you down. It calms you down for like maybe a few minutes, if that, but it ends up being a vicious cycle and basically can make your life a complete mess if you don't get it under control. And right now, things are looking kind of shaky, so that's why I went back into intensive outpatient treatment. I was having weekly therapy for a little while, and that was not helping. So that's why I'm back in intensive outpatient. Uh, this time around, it's all virtual, three hours a day, three days a week, and thus far, I'm finding that I have to be more self-directed, so that's not sitting too good with me just yet, so we're going to see how this goes. This is my first week. I had two sessions already, Monday and Tuesday. And then I'll have my next session on Thursday. We'll be talking to the therapist more about maybe doing some more one-on-one -on -one time and having her help me with the exposures. And I will explain in future vlogs what exposures are and what OCD is, actually. So, uh, I guess just to start off with OCD is obsessive compulsive disorder. So it stands for it's when you get an intrusive thought in your brain that like something bad's going to happen. For me right now it's if I don't report these things to children and youth or to adult protective services something that could be potentially abuse, I could be arrested and go to jail. Which is very interesting considering what my OCD theme is mimicking what Pennsylvania state law is. So, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Sarcasm. Here. <laughs> um, but... Obsessive compulsive disorder tends to blow things out of proportion sometimes. So, in my case, it is taking a lot of things as potential abuse. Some of which, like, may or may not be. And it wants to report things from, like, notes and random things that I hear... And it's been causing a lot of problems, actually, because I have reported way too much. So, for other people, it could be causing fears of contamination. Like, you may think that your hands are dirty. Your hands could be dirty, but, like, you think that you are disgusting, disgustingly dirty, and, like, you're going to be sick. And that's the intrusive thought that goes in your head. So the ritual, the compulsive part, that would mean like you may wash your hands with like X amount of soap. And you may have to wash it for so many times, for so many minutes or however long. And Or for me, the compulsion is to either report things to children and youth that may or may not be necessary. 
or to ask my boss about what they would do or ask other co-workers or my family even what they would do in situations. And the compulsion basically, it's supposed to serve to feel, I mean, for us to feel better. But usually when you feed a fear and try to make it better, they offer reassurance and everything, it only feeds it for a little bit. It only actually fuels the cycle. It teaches your brain that, like, this is something dangerous and you need to respond to it every time that it occurs. And in OCD, it means, like, we're teaching our brains that the anxiety that we feel with these intrusive thoughts is dangerous and must be quickly gotten rid of, which is why we end up doing all of these rituals to try to alleviate the anxiety and make us feel better, make us feel like that everything's going to be okay again. But unfortunately, it only makes it feel okay for maybe a little bit. And then our brains come up with other angles. Well, like, well, but you just touched this thing over here and now your hands are dirty again. Or maybe for me, like, I did not mention the person's age or, like, a specific detail about the event. And now that could alter the trajectory of things. Maybe, like, this could have been reported after all. And it becomes a vicious cycle. So... The way to break the cycle is to resist doing the rituals. Now, that sounds easy, right? Except we've trained our brains so much that we've learned to respond to the fear. And that's what my that's what I've been doing with this current OCD trigger is that I've been responding to the anxiety that like maybe I didn't do enough for the situation and I've been trying to alleviate it instead of allowing myself to feel the anxiety and just let it be there and let it be there till it comes down on its own and gosh it's horrible So that's why I'm in therapy now. I'm, I've been in therapy before. I know how it works. I mean, intensive outpatient therapy. This is a little different because it's all virtual. And I am not a fan of virtual therapy. It did not work for me whenever I was doing it during COVID. And well, what am I saying? It's still COVID. But I'm going to try to make it work for me now. And we are coming up with different things for me to do so that I could face my fears with this. And also try to at least start reducing all of the compulsions that I'm doing at work. And maybe filter out like what I actually need to report versus what my brain is telling me that I should report. So I'm hoping this makes sense. This first week of therapy was like, or so far, it's been just a lot of paperwork. And earlier yesterday, I met with the doctor. And since it's my second time around, and the doctor is actually my outside psychiatrist as well. We just talked for like maybe 10 minutes and... We increased my meds, which was actually left totally up to me, kind of. So we're going to see how the medication increase works, and we're going to see how therapy goes on Thursday. 
so I don't know how to do edits or anything to make this look more interesting for YouTube. So I'm going to give it a go and maybe somebody could help me with this. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later.